Hi, my name's Chris and welcome to my channel Maverick Next Gen. If you want to know more about The Remarkable 2 and how to achieve better thinking in this digital age, why don't you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more updates that follow. Today I'm going to address the problems with the new Remarkables that have been released to customers, but it would be great for the community out there if I helped understand the software release process and also what the beta program as I understand it is about and try and bring all of this together to make you guys understand the real situation so having had such great feedback from my past videos lots of uh, other people have actually supplied me more about the problems they've been having now I will stress that these videos have been given to me by customers that have had brand new remarkables and they haven't been on the beta program she had the remarkable do a couple of weeks ago and it worked perfectly fine and it wasn't until she upgraded to version 2.10 where this happened There's another issue where she found out that the selection tool did some strange things where she tried so hard to be able to go around the text and select it. You can see it here. So notice how the end T got missed. So she does it again. This time the middle T didn't get selected. Okay, in this next clip supplied by another gentleman, so he was on version 2.9 and the swipes didn't work and this is how it played out. So I think we can all agree that with the fact that you can't even go to the next or previous page, it, it's a bit of a blow. And in this next video, And in that video clip, this was astonishing actually, because in my previous video that I did, it, there was kind of a sequence where if you closed your document, you'd expect you'd expect it to open a document. But in this case, well, it's it's a bit random. And actually, what's happening? It when he closed it the first time, I think it opened a another document. But then the second time round, it opened it to the page overview, and as you saw, it selected three pages. Enough said. What is Remarkable doing in terms of its software releases? I'm aware these problems started at version 2.9. And what I've done is I've gone to their website and tried to put a, together a diagram that will help you understand what is happening and when the problems of the new Remarkables that customers got started having major usability issues. This website is from the support remarkable.com and the software releases as such that it explains all the way from the beginning from version 2.2 because you can see from the bottom all the way going up to 2.10. Now those software releases in my mind are general releases where they are stable but of course 
the point of my videos are to explain that even stable releases had issues. If we look at the, the beta software releases, so I'll bring that up. And, and what that's saying is beyond the general releases, they, the beta is actually, well, let's have a look. So when I think it was at version 2.7, they, they released the ability to do the beta program and you, and you would get this screen in your settings and you had to enroll. So it says the remarkable beta program as a member of the remarkable beta program you can take part in shaping remarkable software by test driving pre-release versions and say that remarkable beta program is now available once enrolled you will get the latest beta release for your remarkable please note that since beta releases are still under development they may contain bugs or inaccuracies and therefore might not function as well as our commercially released software does data loss may occur Participation participation is voluntary and free of charge. You can unroll wherever you want. The reason why I read that and showed you is because these individuals who posted me these videos, they never enrolled. So right out of the bat, that gives me cause for concern because there is fundamentally something wrong with the software and the hardware. We really have, we don't know, I'm, I'm speculating, but I'm bringing this factual stuff to you just to make you aware. How does this all shape together in an understandable format. So lucky for you guys, I have created a masterpiece of a, a roadmap effectively. Here's a lovely, um, I, I like to call it an underground map, a metro map, if you will. It shows the Remarkable 2 software version timeline as I see it. Back in July, 2021, now all of this information I gleaned from Remarkable's website and also having gone through some Reddit posts pieced it together. Now, the black main line is, as I call it, the, the general release line, which is meant to be, which is meant to be stable. And what we're trying to imply here or infer is that actually even the stable releases have problems. So going back to the, the, the timeline, in July of 2021, version 2.9 was released. And for most part, I, I think everything was good until I started hearing around August time some new customers were actually experiencing usability issues like the ghosting file actually I haven't even really gone over the ghosting but I will I will bring up ghosting in a technical manner later the other issues they were facing were about files opening randomly and gesture issues and some were reporting problems with registering the stylus what does this show you this this diagram as I mentioned on the, on the black line is the general release stable releases. So let's start from the left. July 2021, 2.9 was released with all the good features. And then the beta, if you're on the beta program, there's a 2.9.1 and they did multiple. Well, this is what I don't know actually what happens because I'm not actually on the beta program. I'm still on an earlier version. I mean, I'm not even on 2.9. I'd imagine that they'd roll out these beta releases to those who have enrolled and I, I demonstrate 2.9.1.xyz because I'm actually not sure where they got to. But as I understand it, 2.9.1.217 was a good release and those people who weren't on the beta program, if you've got auto updates on, it got to that version number. So all's well and good. But as, as you can see at the top um, gray arrow is from the, around the beginning of August, these new Remarkable 2s were reported that had major usability problems who hadn't even enrolled on the, the beta program. So skip ahead to past 2.9.1.217 and you get to version 2.10. Now, in the first video, one of my my viewers she mentioned that it was only until she updated 2.10 again remember she wasn't on the beta program in her words the remarkable 2 went bonkers that does imply that even 2.10 the software update has issues major issues in fact as you saw that being said let's move on so again i, I hasten to add that the, the the red line is the beta program so it, for 2.10, as I understand it from the website, Remarkable have released two 
beta versions 2.10.0 and 2.10.1 okay and in between I've just put indicative versions that have been released always with the beta program as I read out at the beginning it's clear that there are you there are going to be issues and you need to report them so if you've subscribed or enrolled to the beta program you're going to expect problems but the focus here is for those who haven't enrolled on the beta program and they experience major issues and just to highlight as of 2.10.1.3.332 i've put a star there because my comments from viewers have mentioned mr alan montes shout out to you he's claimed he's mentioned that after the update 2.10.1.332 and he actually did decide to enroll in the beta program because he he had nothing else to figure out and decided to take the plunge. It worked. Now, I'm, I'm really pleased for him. But what I will say is because we're still in beta, this is my thinking, guys. Just to finish it off, uh, the 2.10.1.A, B, C, which is just before November, December, that is in my mind is going to be a general release which people who aren't enrolled on the, the beta program will receive. Now for me that's a key release because that release must have addressed all the usability issues that the beta program that people are facing in addition to those remarkable users who haven't enrolled on it and have had new remarkable twos. It's such a key release in my mind because it sets them up for success for the 2.11. If that comes out, I'm not sure. I'm me I'm speculating November, December 2021. I hope that helped, but I think it's a it's an important thing to note. There are there are two things that I'm gonna to bring to your attention because Obviously, those people who haven't enrolled on the beta program have experienced major usability issues, which leads me to suspect that the software is an issue. And ultimately, I know I can tell you that having talked to, to one of my viewers is that Remarkable actually replied to him and said, I can't guarantee that even a replacement Remarkable 2 will be OK. So it it's questionable, isn't it, whether it's hardware or software being a problem. The, the response indicated that developers are still working on a solution. My other thinking is because of the problems is that I'm just wondering if there's something wrong with the, the update process of the, the new software and whether it really is successful. So what I'm trying to say is that imagine you're not on the beta program and you've updated to the, the new 2.10. Okay, but there's something goes wrong and it doesn't get reported. So that leaves your remarkable to in a, a messed up state. So that's one, you know, uh, that's one thought. The other thought is there is a hardware issue. Now that's obviously harder to diagnose, but let me point you to another piece of evidence which suggests um, I think it could be a software issue. Now, what this this Reddit post in, in summary found was that he logged what events as in output was happening from the Remarkable. And what he means by by ghost touches, he's not even touching it, so it's doing it itself. We all now know the facts and the the analysis of what's happening. Lastly, guys, is if you are unsure about updating, what I would suggest is to turn the auto update facility off. Make sure you turn your auto updates off. From there on, you can look at the Reddit channel on the Remarkable tablet and just make sure that you get a sense check of how good the, the latest release is. And then when you're ready, turn the auto update to on and get 
the release that's stable. I hope this has helped you put your mind at ease. And I think that last release, from what I understand from, from beta customers, has helped resolve lots of the issues. So if you like my video, don't forget to smash the like button. And, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to learn more about the Remarkable Tool. And in the meantime, before the next video, why don't you check out my other videos, which is here and here. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Testing. One, one, two, three.